Okay, one for the novices. A classic novice hurdle is a grade two event here at Cheltenham Race 4. It's over two mile, four furlongs and a half. It's a five-year-old and up. So number one is Deer Hunter for Joshua Southern. Two, Meandre for Paul Rhodes. Three, Galadriel's Nurse for David Robertson. Four, Hatton's Grace for Ghost Supper. Five, Moonshield Knight for Graham Clutterbuck. Six, Thesis for Molly. It's Surfer. Seven, Bay and Princess of Darren Thompson. Gemini Sweet for Martin Liedem. And Tainted Tina for Stu Gray's number nine. So the week from to settle down. They're straight into the first hurdle. And everybody gets over it. And up front, it's Hatton's Grace and Moonshell Knight. It's Hatton's Grace that pulls away now as Moonshell Knight doesn't want to go along at that pace. But it's Hatton's Grace, followed by yeah, a couple of lengths back to Gemini Suite. These two are one and two. The rest of the pack are pretty much together. Deer Hunter, Gladriel's Nurse against the Fence. Moonshell Knight, Thesis Meandre. And then just back to Bane Princess and Tainted Tina in the rear at the moment. So, up they go. Up the hill here. And it's still over two miles to run. And it's Hatton's Grace that leads by about six to seven at the moment. And those advantages just been shortened down as Meandre puts a little bit of pace into, into the race. So over the second. Nice big fast jump there by Meandre. But it's Hatton's Grace that leads us. John Morgan leads by about three to Meandre in the centre of the course. And a couple of lengths ahead of Moonshell Knight and Thesis. And we've got Gemini Sweet, Gladriel's Nurse and Deer Hunter. And a couple back to Bane Princess and Tainted Tina just at the rear at the moment. Trying to just tag on to the, 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 the rest of the pack, obviously. But up front is still Hatton's Grace as they go past the screens and take the third. Everybody gets over it. A couple of slower jumps. Uh, still got plenty of time. Well over a mile and a half to travel. Uh, the circuit to go. So take the turn and go uphill. Still Hatton's Grace by about four now to Meandre. Deer Hunter's got himself uh, a share of third along with Moonshell Knight. Against the fences Gemini Sweet. Thesis moves out a little bit wider for some room. And then a length further back to the three of Gladriel's nurse, Tainted Tina and Bang Princess. We go over the fourth. So we'll have another five hurdles to negotiate. And it's Hatton's Grace, but he leads down to just two now to Meandre in second. And they're about three lengths ahead of the chasing pack. So it's still Hatton's Grace into the fifth. Gets over it well. Leads by half a length. Meandre, the jockey uh, has a little uh, tug of the reins on Meandre. They go over the six, all settling well. And it's still Hatton's Grace from Meandre. Deer Hunter's moved into third now. And Moonshell Knight and Gemini Sweet. And Thesis, Gladriel's Nurse and Bang Princess. And just a length or so back at the rear is still Tainted Tina. Been there since the beginning. And obviously wants to make that last position his own. Or her own, should I say to the seventh. Everybody's over that. So a little bit of a change. Meandre's dropped back now and allowed Deer Hunter to take second on his own. But it's Hatton's Grace as they start the downhill run. It's Hatton's Grace by about three to Deer Hunter. And Meandre's against the fence. Gladwell's nurse made up some good ground and is in, in quite a challenging position. Moonshell Knight's still there. And a length further back to Gemini Suite against the fence. Thesis and Bang Princess are out wide. And Tainted Tina's still at the rear. So up front it's now Meandre. Challenges Hatton's Grace. Hatton's Grace jockey starts to push him along and has allowed Meandre to take a three length advantage here. We've only got a couple of hurdles to go. On the outside here comes Thesis. Also through the middle of the pack is Gladwell. Gladriel's Knight, so up front is Meandre into the eighth, but coming back is Hatton's Grace again, pokes his nose in front, and Meandre's still there, but starting to drop back now, Thesis on the outside, so Gladriel's Nurse takes it up now, but just by a length from hard-pushing Thesis, Hatton's Grace and Meandre, on the outside now comes Moonshell Knight and Deer Hunter, so we've got three furlongs still left to run, Meandre takes it back up again, they're flip-flopping like mad, but it's Meandre from Thesis, Hatton's Grace, Gladriel's Nurse, but it's still Meandre leads, we've only got one to jump, and it's Meandre that leads by a length now to Gladriel's Nurse 
and thesis. Hatton's Grace has got nothing left. Deer Hunter's got a work, some work to do, but it's Meandre up front. Meandre leads by a furlong for half of the length, sorry, going over the last. A poor jump there by Thesis is demoted in, so it's Meandre still leads inside the furlong. As they go uphill now, it's Meandre and Gladriel's nurse. It's these two neck and neck as Gladriel's nurse fights back. In Meandre, Gladriel's nurse, Meandre. Meandre's just hanging on here, just by, and he starts to pull away. Meandre takes it from Gladriel's nurse in second. Deer Hunter run on for third. A double here for Paul Rhodes here at Cheltenham. Getting ready for the festival. Well done, Paul, with Meandre. Second was Gladriel's nurse for David Robertson. Third was Deer Hunter for Joshua Sutherland. Fourth, Hatton's Grace for Ghost Zappa. And you don't.